Hey, what's up everybody? I'm just going to do a, a quick kind of little review of my new helmet. Um, if you've noticed in my, my descriptions of my videos, I'm wearing an Icon um, Air Flight. It's the uh, fader graphic in the orange. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's got the, uh, the orange face shield on it. And I've had it for like, I don't know, about three months now, roughly. I just thought I'd give, you know, a quick little review of it, what I think of it. Um, I used to have an Icon variant. Never really cared for it. I like the style of it, but I just it, I just don't think it was that good of a helmet. Um, it was very loud. The face shield mechanism was just atrocious uh, mine broke like the first day I had it like there, there's little retention tabs and that broke um, damn antelope um, I ended up taking off the the piece that goes on the top just because it caught a lot of wind even on my DRZ I rode it this bike with it a little bit but um, didn't care for it but anyway this this video is for for this helmet not not that helmet but I said I've had it for about three months now and overall I'm I'm, I'm pleased with it um, it's not any quieter than the variant it says it is but it isn't it, to me it's it's no quieter I always wear earplugs but I, I notice, you know, it is it is just as loud. Um, it's got some decent airflow. These this helmet has a drop down sun sun visor on the inside, and normally that messes with ventilation. But it's not too bad. Like I've rode on a couple of hot days, and so far, and it's it's been okay. Like no worse than the variant. Uh, the one thing I don't like is like it has a chin curtain that comes with it uh, but it still allows a lot of air to come up in your face and I'll be riding around and there'll be road debris and every once in a while I'll get stuff that flies up and hits me in the face just because it, it, it swoops up and bugs get up in my helmet a lot because of that they hit my chest and then they go up through the the chin curtain it, it's kind of annoying I, I I think the chin curtain needs to be made out of some thicker material so it doesn't breathe air because you you only need the chin curtain to block the air and block the cold you know so if it's warm outside you just take the chin curtain out i've always rode with it in so i don't you know i don't know what it's like with it out but i just i don't like taking that stuff in and out um, it's got the, you know, the, the visor that comes all the way down to the chin, but I come up with this way of mounting my GoPro. It's, it's off to the side a little bit. It's not too bad. I actually like this angle on this bike, but I just, I really like the design of this helmet. It's so much different than anything else out there. You know, it's got this whole piece that comes down and it latches really well. That's what I hated about the variant. This one has a positive latch to it. The variant had no latch. It just closed. And at high speeds, if you would turn your head sideways, uh, the wind would catch it and push it open. So, um, it's fairly lightweight. It's, it's definitely lighter than the variant. Um, hmm. It's pretty aerodynamic. Like, I'll get some uh, buffering uh, at higher speeds. Um, mainly when my girlfriend's sitting behind me. When she's sitting behind me, I get a lot of buffering, but that's just because she's behind me and she's causing turbulence but overall I'm, I'm happy with the helmet for the price I wouldn't buy it again I honestly wouldn't um, this helmet was uh, I want to say this one was 285 and then I bought the shield which is $50 just for a shield so I, it's not really worth that much money 
Um, I am more of a, an oval head shape, so I had to go with this one because this one's an intermediate oval, whereas um, I wanted a Icon Brozac helmet, but that's for a long oval, and, and I don't have... Um, I don't have a long head. I have more of a round head, so um, I wanted to go with this one. And I really do like the sun visor on the inside. Like, I will probably never buy a helmet that doesn't have one, just because this uh, mirrored shield that's on it. So there was a bug that just flew into my eyeball. Um, this shield that's on it blocks the sun really good during the day, but at night you can still see through it really well. But then when the sun's just really bright, you can flop, uh, flip that sun visor down and, and get plenty of darkness, you know, block out the sun, get it out of your eyes. So I don't think I could ever go back to a helmet that um, doesn't have one. But if I, if I go to it, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to probably look elsewhere for my next helmet. I really love Icon's designs, but I'm just not pleased lately. And I know that there's supposed to be a new variation of the variant coming out, so I'm curious what that's going to be like. But I think my next helmet, I am going to venture to something else. I want something quieter. You know, I want something quieter, lighter. And that's not Icon right now. So that's just my thoughts. I guess it was a review. Um... If I had to do it again, I probably wouldn't buy one. If I did buy one, I'd probably just buy like a plain graphic, because the like the black looks really sick with uh, a mirrored face shield. So as, I mean that way, you know, I think the the solid colors are only 250 bucks, so you know it's a lot cheaper. But that's just my thoughts. Um, let me know what you guys think of this helmet if you've got one or you've been looking at one. What you what you think about it? What your concerns are? And, Maybe I can answer some of those questions, but that's kind of all I've got on on my thoughts and reviews. I, overall, I said it's a good helmet. It's a pretty good helmet, but I just don't think it's quite worth the money. So that's my, my final take on it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time, guys.